Josephine, we're here at the Bill Corp National Women's 15s Championship. You must be incredibly proud of the of all the teams here at the tournament thus far. Oh, the step up in the quality of the matches, and you can really clearly see the preparation of the girls from last year to this year. It's it's quite extraordinary, really. And I think a lot of credit goes to the states who have stepped up in you know with some S and C uh, support. I know some of the girls have been playing the other dark code as well, but I, I just think some general uh, support all round and an increased focus uh, from the crew here between Paul and the guys getting out of the states. Incredible step up. Very excited. And what have you made of the, uh, the the standard of the competition? We've just seen some amazing final games here this afternoon. Oh, look, these girls are hungry and there's no question that they really understand and value um, and respect the jersey that they're all fighting to play for. And that number one there, they get it. I mean, these girls are juggling, you know, children and jobs and that these are the last unprofessional, you know, you know, not non-professionals, not unprofessional, non-professional football players we have at the ARU. So when you see what they're juggling and how they manage to pull this all together and prepare themselves to represent their nation, um, it, it shows, that passion shows. And it's a big year for women's rugby, massive year for the Build Corp Wallaroos. As the head of women's rugby, how are you, how are you feeling as we're sort of on the precipice of the international season? I think leading into the World Cup, where I think we were sitting seventh after the last World Cup, but third the World Cup before, with this lead up with the Four Nations, um, I think even the preparation this weekend that they're going to you know, enjoy. Um, the Four Nations prior to that, I feel really positive about Ireland. I'm heading over, of course, with the family. We're all going over to support the girls. But um, I feel we're in a very different place and an enormous amount of support has come to the girls from the ARU and um, we're very, very grateful for that. And a big final here tomorrow, of course, at the Bill Corp National Women's 15s Championship. Who do you think might uh, might take it out? Oh, the WA girls are, I thought, were this dark horse that have come forward, but all the other girls are going, no, no, WA have always been amazing, but, you know, I think Sydney's going to be a bit hard to get past, aren't they? But you know what? Uh, tomorrow will tell.